Water Development Congress uh, is mainly on uh, topics which are linked to the human right to water and sanitation. And there is still 30% of the world population which has no access to water, don't have the human right to water, and even worse, for sanitation. 55% of the world population don't have that right. So for us, it's very important to remind that, to work on the needs, to put people together in order to try the solution, the right solution, to open their mind, to exchange, because we need to find new way of working. Otherwise, we will never bring that right to the people. IWA is the reference network for professionals in the water and sanitation industry. And so far, the network has done a very good job in building an industry around water supply, around wastewater management, but it's not doing so well in non-sewer sanitation. And yet, 4.5 billion people don't have access to decent sanitation. And I believe this is an opportunity for the IW members to really come together and think what are the next type of technology, the next generation of technology, what type of service model, business model, that would actually enable a new industry to launch. Circular economy principles have an important role to play in ensuring that we are achieving sustainable sanitation and water management, especially in developing countries. And um, market-driven mechanisms, including business models, have an important role to play because they allow the engagement of private sector, but also allows us to leverage both public and private sector capital. My hope is that the work that we have done is integrated in different policies that are being developed, but that also offers information to private entities that are keen in investing in circular economy businesses. If you dig today 200 feet, 500 feet, and tomorrow somebody comes who have the big money, a rich person, they get 600 feet then your borons dry. Then somebody has come again, one more rich person, that is a thousand feet, then again, your borons is dry. So instead of digging a new bore wells, you can recharge old one, which is dry. The rainwater is, is given free for us. So you can just, you can put it inside. That's important. So in India, we are implemented uh, 1,650 bore wells, 10 states in India. Rainwater harvesting is open source.